Hey everybody, what is going on today? Welcome to the channel. We're back with another video for MLB The Show 22. I'm so excited, man. I'm so happy it's here. Launch day for early release is here upon us. We're going to show you guys the fastest way to get through the faces of the franchise featured program here in just a second. But you guys first, as always, do me a favor and smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure you got those notifications on so you guys know when we're live here streaming on the channel. We'll be live all weekend, all next week, streaming MLB The Show 22, and we'll have plenty of videos coming out here over the next few weeks and all throughout the year for you guys, too. So, But let's go ahead and jump right into this featured program and the fastest way to get through the face of the franchise program. So if you guys don't know what has actually occurred this year, featured programs are what we used to know as Team Affinity and inning programs, but they've actually been combined into one to make this process a little bit more streamlined and a little bit easier to get all of this stuff. And it's kind of cool because the grinders are going to really enjoy this program. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be fast ways to get through it. I'll have an XP glitch for you guys coming up pretty soon. Uh, just give us a couple days here to locate the best possible one. And we'll get you guys a video out uh, for it, showing you guys how to get through this thing. A-S-A-F-P. All right. Uh, but the face of the franchise one right here. Uh, this is the first program we've got. They're going to have multiple programs throughout the year. You can earn 12 of the 30 bosses just through completing this program. You might get this trout. You might get Ronald Acuna Jr. It's pretty cool stuff, man. So let's dive right into it, though. I'm going to show you guys the fastest way you can possibly get through it right now. Gameplay. First thing is gameplay. Let's just get that out of the way. Obvious. That's the obvious one. Gameplay XP is going to get you XP for the program because the whole program is based on XP. That's all you want to be earning. So the more you play, no matter where you're playing in MLB The Show 22, you're going to earn gameplay XP. So earn that gameplay XP. Get all of that stuff. Any of those missions or extra things that you find in other programs, other places throughout in Conquest or anything like that that give you extra XP, complete those because that's going to help you out along the way also. All right. Daily Moments. Daily Moments used to be its own program, and now it's not. Now it's built in here in the feature program. So daily, we're going to get a little mission in here. That's pretty cool. Uh, it looks like it expires. We get like four or five days to play them here, it looks like, uh, which not too bad. Four days, uh, and you'll be able to complete these. But you'll get 1,000 XP here for this one, just completing it for the, uh, for the program. So stay with this daily. Set a reminder on your phone. Set a reminder on your phone. That's what I would do, a daily reminder, just so you don't forget to do your daily moment. Uh, featured program moments. Go complete these guys. There are 30 of these things, all right? 30 of them for 500 XP a piece. That's going to give you 15,000 XP right there. That's going to move you a whole notch in the program. So you might as well go complete these. They're pretty easy right here. Uh, most of them look like they're on veteran. I think all of them are veteran, actually. Yeah, every one of them is on veteran. Uh, so you're going to get a chance at earning a quite a bit of XP for free right there. Not to mention, you'll earn XP just while you're playing doing these. So that's the 500 for completing it, but you'll also get XP while you play them. So don't forget about that. Week one legends and flashbacks right here. We got missions with them. So week one legends and flashbacks, what you're going to do here, this is new this year. If you do this parallel XP missions, you're going to get a lot of XP along the way. And what you need to do is read, read over these. It's going to say tally 2000 parallel XP with cover athletes uh, and the, and the uh, Takashi uh, Okazaki, I hope, apologize if I'm pronouncing his name wrong, uh, but his series players, uh, the awesome, uh, the awesome art players that we got here, those five cards. If you, uh, you guys earn this player, this parallel XP with these, you'll get 3000 bonus XP in the program. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, and then there's several missions all along the way here for different players and different things that you can do for these parallel XP missions that we didn't have last year. And they're going to get you a lot of bonus points along the way. A lot of these cards and these packs that you need to do with these missions uh, are going to be right here in these Legends and Flashbacks packs. You're going to earn them in here. The pitchers are probably going to be pretty easy. I would recommend taking those first. Uh, that's what I would do. They're going to be the easiest missions to probably knock out, uh, in in my opinion, at least while we're doing this. I mean, Smoltz, uh, you know, you can, you can knock out strikeouts and all that stuff with those guys. Pretty simple. It does look like you're going to need more points with the pitchers, 500 instead of 350, but you can earn them way faster. So that's the best way to do it in the fastest way. The collections... As you guys are, sorry, my voice is, uh, it, I've been up a late tonight. So, uh, recording these and doing the live stream. As you guys complete these collections, go ahead and do this. Uh, go in here right now. We've got the Babe Ruth one. This is the starter program. Once you get him unlocked, go ahead and get him here. But it's 10,000 XP when you lock him in. You might as well collect him right here. 
get yourself the 10,000 XP in the program. Most people probably have that pr stuff pretty, uh, pretty much done here in the next day or so. Uh, with that exchanges, you can exchange live series players right here to get 10,000 XP. I don't know that it's beneficial unless you have duplicates right now. Uh, right now, you want to probably be collecting your cards for those live series collections. So pay attention to that. But you can, uh, you can, if you got duplicates and you don't feel like selling them, uh, if they're kind of crappy ones, you can uh, maybe put them in here for right now. But right now, exchanges are not going to be that lucrative because cards are so expensive. So pay attention to that. Just kind of be aware. Uh, go complete your franchise showdown. Also, the showdown, I uh, showed you guys in a video earlier today about the Diamond Dynasty walkthrough where you can find the face of the franchise showdown uh, and you guys can go in there and do your showdown. 15,000 XP right off the bat. All right, and then March to October, if you want to do that, you can earn them in there. There's going to be other ways to earn added throughout this program while it's out. But pretty much right now, Gameplay, 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 gameplay. That's what you really want to be doing. Go in there and play. Go get your conquest map done. Knock that out. You're going to get tons of cards along the way for that too. Those prospect cards. That's where I recommend going. Also, knock out maybe your uh, in some of your online modes if you want to play those and you're an online player. Go into ranked. Go into co-op. Go into events right now. The events have good rewards. Battle Royale's got good rewards. Uh, so you can go in there. Uh, and get that stuff knocked out. Also, the single player modes, if you just want to grind against the CPU or play these mini seasons, put it on rookie, get a God squad kind of going for right now. I know it's, you know, night one, day one, week one, whatever. Get your God squad that you have uh, within your inventory put together and go in there and try to put up as many runs as you can. Just go get that player XP, man. Uh, you get parallel XP, it's going to lead to regular XP because if you're getting more hits, more doubles, more triples, more home runs, more strikeouts, all that stuff, you're going to get more XP for it overall. So this is the fastest way to get through it right now. Uh, as soon as we got a glitch discovered, we'll get you guys on par with that so you can get through it even faster. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do me a favor. As always, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Don't forget to catch me for the live streams here all throughout the weekend, all going into next week and on through 22. I'm so excited. I hope you guys are too. If you got any questions, make sure to put them in the comments, but we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks. Peace.